Hi, I'm Michael. I'm Nicholas. And we are from Scotland. Aye, big reverend in Scotland. Okay, then who? Okay, aye. Sign up for Church Militant the day. Church Militant on TV. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to The Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Vorce. Just in case all the bad news about the church is getting you a little down or discouraged, allow us to share some heartening news with you. We're going to keep this as anonymous as possible, but you will more than understand and get the point and then rejoice with us. A little over a week ago, a very close friend contacted us and told us that his college-age son, his college-age son, was in deep distress. It seems the boy's former girlfriend had just found out she was pregnant by another guy who she had been going out with. In her great fear, she turned to her former boyfriend, the son of our friend, and revealed to him that her mother was threatening that if she did not have an abortion, she would disown her. So the girl had scheduled an abortion for the following morning. She told all this to her former boyfriend, again the son of our friend, who called us. He asked us to pray very hard for the situation. He told us his son was beside himself with distress and was going to talk to her at 3 p.m. that same afternoon, a matter of hours before she was to end the life inside her. He wasn't sure how to say or what to say, only convinced that she had to be persuaded away from this horrible act. His parents, our friends, explained to him that he should let her know that their house was open to her and she could finish out the semester where she is and then come live with them in the second semester and have her baby while under their roof. We knew what time the conversation between the young man and woman was going on, so the entire staff here gathered in our chapel and said a rosary that our Blessed Mother would give him the right things to say to her. The result of their conversation, she first decided to postpone and then later the next evening actually cancel the abortion and take his parents up on their offer to finish out the semester and go live with them to have the baby. The young man's mom sent me an email with the subject line saying, Saved a life. Amen. In their talk, the young mother revealed to him that she thought nobody cared and that she was all alone. Well, as long as good Catholics are around, that is never the case. Please remember all of this in your prayers. Say a little prayer for gratitude right now to the Virgin Mother of Mothers for her intercession that this young mother always be under her mantle. Say a prayer for the young man who cared and loved enough to demonstrate his Catholic faith in action. And say a prayer of thanksgiving for the wonderful couple who raised a young man like this and who will soon be opening their home to life and love. God is good all the time. God is good. God love you. I'm Michael Voris.